Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Since it's Halloween, we're going to go back 20 years ago to the Halloween storm of 2003. You're looking at the storm via the SOHO Lasco C3 instrument that monitors the sun 24-7. This spacecraft orbits the sun with planet Earth. So this is a view from the Earth as the solar storm occurred. And notice something else that occurred right before the storm. Did you see that comet? There was an inbound comet right there that appeared to make contact contact with the sun right before the, the solar storm. I've seen this a few times, sun diving comets right before large solar storms. But this solar storm here was very large. I believe it was an X-17, definitely Earth-directed. But it wasn't the strongest. The, the strongest recorded storm was the Carrington event of 1859 that was discovered by Richard Carrington. And this storm here disrupted telegraphs. It sent auroras down into Florida and Arizona. And this storm here also sent auroras down into California, Arizona, and I believe parts of Georgia. This was a very strong solar storm, but not the strongest ever. Apparently, according to old tree rings 14,300 years ago, there was an even stronger storm, stronger than both of these combined that reveals an apocalyptic warning for today's humans. If something like this were to occur today, it could affect the power grid, satellites, and a lot of things. We're going to come back and take a look at what scientists have discovered here in just a moment. So this is the Halloween storm of 2003. I also have video footage from the International Space Station of evidence of a storm that just occurred a few hours ago, visible from the International Space Station. But first over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent by Darren out of Fort Collins, Colorado of a towering, very photogenic double-decker rainbow out of Fort Collins. Thank you, Darren. Really appreciate that. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the, the Space Weather Prediction Center. All quiet in the last 24 hours. Looking at the Planetary K Index, it too has been quiet the last 24, in fact, the last 48 hours. However, I do have evidence of a solar storm that occurred less than 12 hours ago. Checking in on the Schumann Resonance, you can see some large spikes yesterday that went on for the better part of 12 hours, and then a, a few small spikes today, but the last 8 to 10 hours have been fairly quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. That red vertical line is an earthquake signature. That is energy from the 6.6 .6 earthquake that occurred just a few hours ago down in Chile. That is not an earthquake here at the Yellowstone Supervolcano. So pretty quiet here at the Supervolcano Caldera. I want to take you guys now to the skies of Texas, and this was also visible from Colorado. This video has narration that was sent in by Stephen from October 30th of 2023 at 5.52 p.m. Here we go. No, that's way too big to be anything. Boys! Boys! Come out of here quick! Hurry! Boys, come here! Quickly! It has to be another rocket launch. It has to be. This thing is friggin' massive. Look at that. Wait. What is that? I don't know. I just looked and saw it. What the? Caleb! Caleb! Yo. Yeah, I think it's another rocket launch. Did he come out? Yeah. Someone go get him. I know, we yell like a thousand times. It's another one of those rocket launches, I think. Is he coming? Caleb! Here, hold that. Don't worry. Yeah, it has to be another rocket launch. You can hear it. Yeah, yeah. You can hear it. Kid's missing it. Yeah, I just did that thing again where I spit something out. Yeah, I'm not really it, like my my recording's not as good as it should be. Oh, it's one of these. It was super bright. You missed like half of it. Yeah, it started we were yelling. Like it's still there though. It's still going. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. I got that. <laughs> that is so cool. That's got to be so big. I Look at that. That is so much. I, I, there's like a big O-ring. I got that. 
It's a rocket. Yeah, it's SpaceX. And I received two other videos of the same rocket launch at exactly the same time. The second one here was sent in by Laura out of Loveland, Colorado, October 30th, 2023 at 5.52 p.m. There's the rocket visible from Colorado. And then I received yet another video from Francis Thompson at 5.52 p.m. on October 30th. And there's the, the rocket visible once again. This location I'm not sure of because she didn't share it with me. She shared the video footage, though, of the rocket cruising through the nighttime sky right around 6 p.m. Good observations, guys. Thanks for sharing. Really appreciate that. Speaking of good observations, this photo was sent in by Polenta Forest out of Sacramento, California. She was driving down the road and happened to notice this up in the clouds above Sacramento. Sacramento just looked unnatural. It didn't look like the, the other clouds in the vicinity. The, the other clouds looked quite natural. This almost looked like some sort of a louver or vent configuration in the sky above Sacramento. You can see the straight lines and some small 90 degree angles in there. Definitely looked out of place. That's what caught her attention. Once again, photos sent in by Polenta out of Sacramento, California. Going up to the International Space Station, video footage submitted by Nelson Jenks. This first video is of a giant cyclone just an incredibly large storm system visible from the International Space Station. Something else that was visible from the International Space Station just a few hours ago, video footage submitted by Nelson Jenks, October 31st of 2023. We've got a Halloween storm visible from the ISS. Get a load of these auroras visible from the International Space Station. And this is out above the North Atlantic Ocean. Those are bright green, just absolutely beautiful, span for hundreds if not thousands of miles visible from the ISS, 250 miles above planet Earth. And these were not instigated by a solar flare, a CME. These just kind of occurred out of nowhere. I mean, there wasn't a, a geomagnetic storm according to the Planetary K Index that we looked at at the beginning of the video. Showed you guys the, the X-rays and there were no large solar flares in the last 24 to 48 hours. We have some absolutely beautiful rogue auroras swarming the North Atlantic Ocean, visible from the International Space Station. Video footage submitted by Nelson Jenks from today, October 31st of 2023. And back to the beginning of the video where we talked about a even larger solar storm than the one we looked at here. In fact, much larger than this one here. This was an X-17. The next one we're going to talk about is even larger than the Carrington event, according to the article, an apocalyptic warning from scientists that discovered the evidence of a very powerful solar storm that was 10 times as powerful as the Carrington event. And the radiocarbon suggests that this occurred 14,300 years ago, much larger than any solar storm that we've ever recorded in modern history. But if something like this were to occur in today's world, as dependent as we are on electricity and satellites and things like that, a storm like this, if it were Earth-directed, would create unbelievable drag on satellites, causing them to malfunction, could affect the power grid, obviously communication systems and things like that. It would be something like this. This, only much, much stronger. This is the storm of 2003, the Halloween storm of 2003. We actually had one in 2023 that occurred just a few hours ago, visible from the International Space Station. Absolutely beautiful auroras visible from 250 miles above planet Earth. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box. Look for this red banner that says, Have a Large Video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.